So here we go with Cosmic Wars. Um, well, we'll see how we go. Obviously, there's going to be a bit of kanji text in this. Um, so, what can we do here? So, one player side, CPU player. Oh, I see. Right. Change that one to CPU. And easy animation on, sound on. All right, well, not too hard so far. So it's a strategy game. Let's have a look at some of these things. So these are units we buy then. How much we got? 20,000. My job is I don't know what I'm buying, do I? Let's get one of those. Oh, I see, yeah. So that's engine, and that's the mech. Yeah, can we grab other things? Grab a couple of things and they're going to be our pieces, I take it. And what's in here? Okay, just don't really know. Is that a base or something? Okay, end. Side change, A, yes. Player, so then the other player does is the computer. Let's see what he does. He's got fighters and some troops and yeah, fills up his whole thing. Then goes in there, which is where we were. I reckon I could work this out if I spend a bit more time on it. Um, it actually probably looks like it could be a pretty good um, game and because it's got that CPU component in there um, it may actually be quite playable. I wonder what the, I'll have to find out what the actual NES equivalent of this one is. So it might actually be a, um, a good game that I'd be interested in playing normally. Alright, we'll leave it at that. Just a quick look to see what it was like and uh, we'll move on to some of the other games. Right, so next we have Yeah Kung Fu. Um, a game I quite liked for the MSX back in the day. Never knew there was a um Oops. I actually meant to do that. Right, so you've got So you've got your punch and kick. And then pressing the the direction button gets you different. learning the different moves and uh, what's effective against each opponent but it introduced the basic idea of uh, I mean it's the very first game uh, to a lot of people to be on yeah. Yeah. So, but I think some of the old playing of the MSX version might come back here a little bit uncool.
Ah, he's got me. So that loses one of my lives, but I think you stay on that. Basically, got to work out what's effective against each character, and um, you know the first two were a bit easier than this one. This one doesn't. It <laughs> got me already. Quite a painful way to end too. Um, well, that's a very good version, um, uh, very comparable to the MSX version. Um, obviously, the um, uh, you know Famicom hardware is a little bit newer than the MSX hardware is, but they're not that different graphically. Um, I do believe the characters on the MSX one are a little smaller, but um, that's about all. They used about the same number of colours, so um, yeah, very impressive. I actually um, really like getting a copy of that one. Alright, let's try our next one. Okay, here we go with Arkanoid 2. Arkanoid's a game I really like. Oh, that's, yeah, that works quite smooth. So I haven't played this for a very long time. Well, I've never played Arkanoid 2, let alone even Arkanoid 1 for quite a long time. So it makes a different proposition when you've got a dodge. Controller works quite smoothly. Hey, the one that you hold it. Okay, so this box aren't indestructible, they're just multiple hit ones. It's probably. Whoops, ow. But the controller is very smooth. It's much more fun playing this sort of a game with the paddle controller. First thing. Ooh. Okay, we've got a double. Seem to be able to do that unless you're supposed to have the um, uh, thing. I mean, you can connect a second player by plugging it into the first one. I suppose that allows you. Let's have one more because that was far too <laughs> far too good. I think I need some practice. Six seconds. You can imagine how long that took you to um, die. Just um, very out of practice with playing Arkanoid. The start's got me uh, perplexed actually. No. Alright. I'll, um, I'll find out when I'm defeated. 
But anyway, these are people who get too. I too. This will be staying in the machine for a little while so I can give it a proper game. Alright, let's go and try those MSX games. So the first of our MSX titles is the Tank Battalion by Namco. It looks very similar to Armored Assault, but it is different. I believe you can even get this game on... Oops. I've seen this game before anyway. I reckon you can get this on... You gotta stop them from and you shoot bullets, thank goodness. Okay, so that special one gave us some sort of a bonus. I almost believe we've got here we've got machine gun fire now. And you can blow away the scenery yourself. Ooh, red one. It's more aggressive. Ooh, lots of points for that one. That was close. Oh, I cleared out the round. Yeah, so there's an indicator over on the right saying how many more tanks we've got to go. So obviously the basic premise is to make sure they don't get to your base. Okay, so I have always been able to shoot multiple times, I just didn't notice before. <laughs> or, is I, or have I still got that ability from shooting that other... Nothing wrong with this game at all. This is quite playable. Somehow I managed to not get killed so far. So the blue tanks are pretty stupid. Let's put it that way. Whoa. Getting some close calls there. Enjoying this. Miles will keep going. Oh. But the open playfield isn't. Well, that was close. Well, don't destroy parts of my own. Right, so we still managed to survive. I might as well keep on pushing on. This is quite literally my very first game of this. So it has got, you know, a little bit faster. Their, their intelligence hasn't really. Um, So you get too bold and you get killed. I think that actually firmed up my base when I did that. Ooh, okay, he's there's a lot harder to kill.
Hey, there we go. I said, I'm quite enjoying this. Oh, I've changed colours. And five. MSX titles because there were so many titles available in Japan. Yes, yeah, so my tank's been upgraded again, hasn't it? Folks, keep on being extremely lucky. Oh, there we go. So you got to ah, uh, see, see my tank has gone back, back down to um a less souped up one now. through that level by the skin of my teeth, I think. So another one of these open ones. Hard to you think these open ones, I think. been going for my base a little bit more. I'll start then. Still making it through the rounds quite easy, so. It still has some slightly different mazes that it's coming out with. Oops! Oh, mistyped that. But unfortunately, to the game's detriment, it doesn't seem to be getting that much harder. I do, I do believe their fire rate has definitely gone up though. captured my base so there we go well a great little fun game that i never knew about before i found this so um always excellent and msx continues to surp surprise okay let's try the next game okay next we have tz uh, grand prix rider um we better go automatic because i'm bound to be terrible and a simple circuit so i've got multiple circuits Getting much, um, yeah, my auto fire was on. So, auto gears. Okay, so we got. So, we see ourselves from the 
the cockpit of the... the cockpit. You know, the control panel of the bike. Oops, we flipped him. The second button would be the um, yeah, it is. So I do have still says gear, the gear thing doesn't change. Interesting, oh, gear automatic. Okay, so the coins. Gotta get used to it. A little touchy. But neither should we be able to go around a corner too fast. No, flipped it again. <laughs> Is the laps to go rather than the laps you've done. No, oh, ran into the back of him. I was doing better. No sense of position or anything like that. I suppose this was supposed to be a time trial, of which I'm doing dreadful at. Yeah, counting down laps. So one lap to go. See, so there's um, quite a bit lack of anything happening along the horizon line. Managed to get around the corner, always crash. So, just the first thing to just try and make it around the track. Now, let's see. 2.47. Qualify. Oh, we, I actually qualified with that poor attempt. Okay. We might as well at least start the race. Password rain. Okay, so we'll password. Course number two, qualifier 331. Oh, okay, so you work through the courses and you've got to. We'll just see if this course is any different, but it doesn't look. We have different colours in our same cloud. Those remembering a recent video I did on Hyper Rally, an MSX1 game, um, shows that yeah, that this game's not very good. Not a good example of what is possible. I'm getting a little better at the cornering. Oh look, we get some city blocks in the background, so we do. Get a little bit of variation, but yes, it's still. You know, they could have done more with stuff going in the in the skyline and things like that. Mm. Anyway, I'll have a bit of a play of it later, but that's probably enough of um, uh, motor sound for now. Let's look at the next game. So here we go of American Truck. Um, play one, push the space key. Oh, it's not going to let us go with joystick. I don't think it is. Yeah, no, it's going into demo mode. Okay. One player, push space key. 
player one ready. So, so for a space bar, go faster. Okay, so it's not the same as the other one bonus here. Yeah, okay, work that much out. You do have to keep your foot on the accelerator. Got some sort of a bonus. Okay, what's happening? Player one ready. Something happened. supposed to go in between those lines and they've actually um, let's try this again you seem to better destroy cars right, this time didn't get the lines Some other. I'm not sure whether the black patches are good for me or bad for me. So if I see how far you can get getting past the obstacles and the, and the cars, I'll tell you what, the other cars are pretty much looking after themselves, aren't they? Now I do notice that our score doesn't seem to be increasing much. And I'm sure I've saw some spanners. different game than I was expecting. I actually, I reckon this could, um, I could get into this one. <laughs> Won't let you do anything while it's drawing its little logo there though. We'll just have another quick go, because it probably wasn't doing the game justice. Get points for knocking the other cars off the road. Oh, Mr. Black Thing, and Mr. Black Thing again. So, for some reason, the objective of the game is to knock other cars off the road. It doesn't seem to be too hard to stay on the road, it's more getting past those various obstacles that come up. Oh, Mrs. Spinner again. spanners so you can pick up those spanners. They go past so quickly though. Miss that spanner. I'm not sure whether the truck has health or anything like that. Roads wind out again. Oh we made it to our goal did we? being not a bad, you know, there's a good bit of um, entertainment in a game like this. Now we've got a bit of winding roads. And it's not particularly difficult once you understand those basic rules. We're missing out. But this is left, right and centre here. <laughs> I can't see anything. Missed all that stuff. But they've managed to get quite a colourful game. It's not, you know, flickering or things jumping around. Scroll they've got going is quite neat. And everything seems reasonably colourful too. Uh, 
Um, what does that mean? <laughs> oh dear. All right, we've probably gone long enough. I'm going to be playing more of this game. Um, highly recommended if you ever come across a copy, but I said I'd never heard of it before I found it. But so, once again, MSX surprises. Okay, we have one more game left, and but we need to switch across to the Sega for that one. Let's go do that now. Okay, so here we go with GP World on the Sega SG3000 computer. Um, SC3000 computer. SG1000 uh, compatible. Always a tongue-tied, that one. Um, but I haven't played this one before. So, okay, right button accelerate. Too soon. Okay, let me get our speed up. First corner, not too bad. The number of titles that came out for the Sega um, SG1000 and SC3000 computers um, and were then also playable on the um, Mark II and the Mark III continues to surprise. Because over here in Australia, we only got um, it would only be half a dozen titles. Um, I mean, they were quite good titles. And it was more than the original Spectre video. Um, but it was an interesting uh, choice I had to make between the two systems. But at the end of the day, the, um, the uh, place where I used to work, or ended up working later on, um, gave me a discount. To help me out in the store on the Spectre video, so I decided to go for that. But it is quite an interesting system that's very, very similar to the original, original Spectre video and MSX. Oh, talking away, and I managed to get so set a record. <laughs> I don't think there'd be a record of any note, but anyway. Well, this is actually quite a decent, capable, you know, Formula One racer. It's actually better than some of the uh, other very early ones that I've played before. Um, I would have been very happy with this back in the day, being a bit of a Formula One junkie. I mean, it's, it's, even the sound isn't too bad. You saw, you know, the dreadful what attempted at a racing game that um, motorbike one was on the MSX, and this is exactly, pretty much exactly the same chipset, just a bit more limited sound-wise. And um, you've got a game that is that doesn't look too bad and um, plays quite well. Oops. You know, I could quite literally sit down and play this for quite some time and enjoy myself. Any fun more ice, and we'll leave it at that. Okay, big long straight, big corner coming up. Oops, probably some break there would have been a sensible option. This is, um, yeah, I actually quite like this game. This is one of the, uh, the better releases for the system. I mean, I do like Formula One racing games, though, but there are bad ones of those, too. I've been, been quite impressed with the um, uh, library of um, games for the system that I've managed to pick up over the last... It's, you know, most of them have been picked up in the last uh, year and a bit. And there's some very playable games. I'll just finish this. Try to make my ears bleed with that nice squealing sound. Um, we'll just finish this bit of the race and then we'll call it quits. As long as I don't crash again.
All right, we better leave it at that because this video is probably long enough. But um, I've thoroughly enjoyed these pickups. It's always great finding new games for the, especially for the older system, um, retro computer systems. Um, and um, but also the Famicom games were excellent as well. And obviously the uh, the more slightly more modern console games that I did in the first part of the video. So I hope you've all enjoyed these um, gameplays and pickups. I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers, and I'll catch you next time.